want to know which model your neighbor's Mercedes is or cry to your father to buy you one. Either way, you came to the right place. By the end of the video, you will be able to identify any Mercedes you see on the road. And we're starting right after this. Oh, by the way, there's a little quiz at the end. Don't miss that. Now fasten your seatbelt and let's go back in time for a history lesson. In 1926, the car innovator Carl Benz and his company merged with Daimler Morton Gesellschaft, an auto manufacturer, to form Daimler Benz Company. In 1998, the American manufacturer Chrysler Corporation acquired the company in what was considered the largest cross-border deal ever seen at its time. As a consequence, the company was named to Daimler Chrysler. In 2007 though, the company was renamed to simply Daimler after the division between the two. Daimler owned many different brands including Mercedes-Benz, AMG and Maybach, although the last one is no longer under Daimler's ownership. Each one of the brands is targeting certain buyers. Mercedes-Benz has normal passenger and commercial vehicles, while Mercedes-AMG is reserved for performance vehicles and Mercedes-Maybach is trying to compete with the likes of Rolls-Royce and Bentley. Passenger vehicles in the more expensive two brands are essentially the same cars as the ones in Mercedes-Benz brand, but modified to meet the attributes of each. If you sneaked someday to your neighbor's house to see what model his car is, but you were overwhelmed with a bunch of numbers and letters. This time, you won't. Almost all Mercedes car names have three different parts. The first is the brand name, so it's either Mercedes-Benz, AMG, or Maybach. The second part is the class name, and the third one is the number that indicates which engine the car has. More on that later. There are five different core classes for Mercedes, which are short for Sigma. Alphabetically, the A-Class is the smallest car of them all. It used to be a hatchback only, however the latest generation introduced a saloon version as well. Now here's a top secret no one knows, not even Mercedes. Wait for it. I like the A45. Dear Mercedes, one A-Class please. The B-Class is a small van based on the A-Class platform, however we don't get the B-Class in Bahrain. The C-Class is a top selling model for Mercedes, you can think of it like the Toyota Camry in terms of size. The E-Class is a bit longer than the C-Class while having more technology and more luxurious cabin. The pinnacle of luxury though is the S-Class with its long and wide cabin, sophisticated technologies, premium materials and of course premium price. Other models include the V-Class, a proper big van with sliding side doors, the X-Class, a pickup truck made with collaboration with Nissan. Coupe car names in the lineup are started with CL, like the CLA and CLS, while Roadsters start with SL like the two very old SL and SLC. Now for every core Mercedes model, there's an SUV, despite the boxer G-Class everyone loves, which is in a class of its own. So there's the GLA, GLB, GLC, GLA, and the GLS, which is basically the S-Class of SUVs. As you can see, Mercedes used the letters GL right before the core model name to indicate that it is an SUV. It is worth noting that there are coupe models on both the GLC and the GLE as well. Mercedes wasn't the first to ride the electric game. In fact, they only have one electric model in their lineup as of today which is the EQC. Now we are not sure whether Mercedes will produce electric vehicles named with letters corresponding to the core models, but it seems like that. Do you remember the number that comes after the class name? That lacks one digit in AMG cars compared to the normal Mercedes-Benz cars for some reason. 
Therefore, these numbers are not representative of how big the engine is or the amount of horsepower the car has. Almost every Mercedes-Benz car has a counterpart in the Mercedes-AMG side. Let's take the A-Class for example. The normal A-Class models come as A200 and A250 for petrol versions. However, the faster AMG models come as the A35 and A45. The most powerful AMG engine though is the 63 8-liter twin turbo, which is not available in the A-Class, otherwise it will fly. Diesel versions of all cars add the letter D after the number. There are bespoke AMG models as well, which are not available as normal Mercedes-Benz models. These include the AMG GTs. Although it is not owned by Daimler Group today, there are still cars produced under the Mercedes Maybach brand. At the moment, there are only two of these, the limousine Maybach S650 and the GLS600. These are literally considered palaces on wheels. Finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, I will ask you five different questions which vary in difficulty. You have 10 seconds to answer each. Leave your score out of 5 down in the comment section with pure honesty please. And while you're at it, subscribe. And off we go. If you've got all 5 answers correct, give yourself a pat on your back. If you found the video helpful or entertaining, please give it a like and let me know if you want me to do more videos like this on other manufacturers. Subscribe to see more content like this and share the video with everyone. Until next time, thanks for watching.